That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? What's we up, have a start up, of term feast up. and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! 
We do. a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. I gotta go back and fix the name. I fucked up the name. Hold on. I might have to skip that whole cutscene over again. As you can see, I fucked up the damn name. So I'm gonna restart it to that level. You already see my first character I made. I've been meaning to do the other houses. Yes, I already know how to. I already know what I'm doing. I already know how to build my character game. It was wonderful. That was quite something. There we go. Fixed it. So now I just have to skip the cutscenes and get back to where I was. Okay, we're back here. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? Yeah, I'm I fixed sure. it now. 
I had but fucked up my character's name. It doubled key. one of my three levers of and the I last name. To bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Yeah, for real. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems 
out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room i don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container what in merlin's name godric's heart where are we i don't believe it Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> This way, then. Stay close. After you. And keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. Glowing. 
Like the glow you saw in the Porky container. No, the darker. I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin. Though. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. Revelio. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. 
now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Revelion! What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. I glow again. Lumos! Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead.
All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist... I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm. Interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? 
I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Rebellion. I suppose some introductions are in order. That is not helpful. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. 
There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure-blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Why don't you come on that statue and see what you open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Lumos. Ah, 
Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station. Rebellion. I thought that the Black would get rid of the That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. I yes. have to unlock them, uh, Loco, when I get the chance. Because I know it takes a little bit. I have it on my first character, uh, all the I'm spells unlocked, the but now I'm starting there, my Professor. Slytherin character. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. So I'll get well, to that spell in no time. <laughs> in one piece. Because trust me, it ices enemies quick. And maybe two times on a I boss. Say I chose the dragon's Except path, the final Professor. boss. The final boss Rather has a in, uni uh, in video game us. explanation why he Very can at well. least defend against it. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. No, you can't. Good luck today. That's why they need to make another game. Or a game guide. where your character is more of an adult outside of Hogwarts and then you can truly make decisions based on good and bad. To to on where here it's just yes, professor. base level, but it Come suits and find me in my the, 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 the um, not vagueness, but the, um, today, and I'll the age level of this assignment. game, that at least you can use these attacks against the enemies, like dark world. enemies. And this obviously is in a different era. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah, no, I'm saying you won't be able to. 
I did my best. You won't be able to use it on but teachers and I'm students and all that. Like, once you get into the school, all combat spells are turned off unless yes, well, designated to the classes or the dueling clubs. But then when you're outside, to keep the like when you first dark wizards, dark creatures, anything that's an enemy type, lead. you can use all the sp it may require a dark spells against them. Flexibility. With your like, time, then if you level up your dark magic she may feel obliged um, to share details fully, with the what you're able to do is, would be better if you use Imperio us, and you max it out, Imperio good. can hit two now, or three enemies. As if you are, max out I Crucio, the ability it can hit two enemies. You to be but well each enemy that's hit Happily, with a curse have the of will have an exo rhythm. Team of that means if you cast a Vada Kedavra, the killing Speaking curse will hit three or four targets so simultaneously. That I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley. The game is still worth going through. It really is. in the field guide's map. Unfold it and have a look. I can't wait to see uh, the Wolf community cry uh, when they make a second game, which is pretty sure confirmed. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've. I know the quest ahead. line too, which is have to be, I think, level. I think I have to be level 12 or something Mr. or 8 to He's start learning those kind of curses. And a good friend. I shall reach out when no, I have not level more 8. Information I have to be past level. Mysterious locket. 10 now, to 12, I believe. Focus on your classes and pay you, attention. Before you start getting those curses. More than your owls may hinge on yeah, the combo magic death. you are able to master within these walls. That's why I like that attack. You can combo it. There's a ghost in here. Where? Oh yeah, I was one of those here. Trying to find all the uh, where are they at? I hear the little ping for the papers. Like, is it on the other side? See, I can hear it. There's like a those field guide papers. Unless it's floating. Oh, it's up there. It's a chest. Never mind. I thought it was a one of those damn Hogwarts papers. Go to charms class. All right. Let us keep our heads about this. Oh, that's undead domestic abuse. Some domestic Rebellion. violence going. Wait, something pinged. Did something in the class ping? Yep. But I can't get in there. Okay. Let me grab a water while this cutscene goes. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth chart? Okay, what did I miss? Anyone? Is Anyone? that even legal? Undead chasing someone? Mm -hmm. Well, in this game, they're locked uh, 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 to cursed I areas. If you go to cursed areas or dungeons, yes. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your So there's in-universe explanations that I like in this game <laughs> that utilize the book and ideas uh, from the movies to explain things that we've never seen. A basic Summoning and it's a good, they give you good reasons, hmm? which is when you introduce new things, hmm. you need to have a good well, reason for why we don't see them like, in the film or heard about them in the books. Everyone get into pairs and, and this game did that. I'm at the ghost at the school. The oh, 
Now, let's no, it was chasing another ghost. As the blunt object. It was a ghost, so they are, uh, and a ghost they wife chasing her ghost husband. Out of one another's hands. And stuff like that Only happens. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Like, they start you off with a lot of defensive spells first, but then when you start getting offensive spells, that's when the game opens up, like the combat. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rise. Because the ghosts can't hurt here. anybody Very good, except everyone. themselves, that's and there's nothing that. that can be done about it, so well, they just let the, the ghosts do what they want. As long as the ghosts don't harm people, which day, they cannot do. Thinking, so, it's not a big deal. A little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! That's why you cast the... You can't. That's the thing. They, you can't cast them out. There's no spells over death in the Harry Potter universe. There's only spells to kill, but there's no spells to goes hand bind in hand with or master, cast or as I'm sure the remove a ghost, things like that. Would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 Let's see. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your uh, charm okay. at the last yeah. oh. Splendid! That's it! Very good! Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues just as oh, before, sorry, and Miss scoring. Onai, you scoring. are playing red. That's how it was. Clear? Sorry. Yes, sir. See, I've always wondered how this character always lands it at 50. She always gets it 50, no matter what. No matter what playthrough run we're doing. Party chat, Keo. Summoner's court tied. Shit. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. I don't push me. Off. This round Dang, girl. settles it all. Let us see this. Some big ass quaffle balls. Oh, 
secure Shahan. Excellent control there. There we go. There. Okay, give me a second. Very good. Both I'll do it after this well cutscene because it'll freeze the cutscene if I do it real quick, like if I swap. So give me a minute. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back right. there. After this conversation. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. All right, let me get and Kyo. You. Hold ah, on. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. All right, let's get Kyo. Of course, you can use Akio. Chat. Yes, yes, yes. There he is. Yes. Is that even legal? Yeah. Can ghosts chase somebody around school? No, they chase the other ghosts and beat the shit out of each other. I mean, just imagine. I'm pretty sure the ghost is uh, that's illegal, like haunting, prowling. No, they're charmed to stay here. Basically, Wait, they can't go nowhere. You mean the, cur the the school cursed them to stay there? It's not that they're cursed. Forever. It's just they're locked where they died if they don't cross over. And they can't cross over later in life? No. Damn. Where's Peeves? That's He's the one that here. traumatizes this movie. Let me just, uh... Go through all my shit here. Oh, I miss this on Xbox. I had so many accessories. If there's one thing that... That you all should know, everyone. This game has a shit ton of cosmetics. The lore. If you're so inclined. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust He's your first charm lived up to expectations. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? All right. You did well managing to best so, as gifted a student as Miss Onai. And I have to wait, Thank you, Professor. I think, till I get a particular level much. before I can Miss get the curses Onai again. Miss is always a fierce competitor, though I sense curses. that she has been distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has Why can't you just run around killing people? Instruction outside That's why I think the that they made this on purpose to where you're a fifth year, because you technically can do the next game, skip one year, say that, oh yeah, you. you've attended Hogwarts from your sixth to your seventh, start the game as a, the next game as a seventh year, and then...
be more free, like, what is it? Then if they do a third game, you're an adult, and then choices can really come into effect. No, so what they need to do is they need to make it have sort of a giant war in the school. There goes fucking peeve. And then you can feel real good casting the, uh, the killing curse on anybody. That's what I'm saying, yeah. In this game, make it's it only- Make it another war they, in they, school. Well, that's the thing. That would have to make sure it doesn't contradict... ...the fucking movies, because it's more clear that this is in line in the film's universe. Oh, well, Grindelwald came and attacked the place in this time all. Well, this is way before his, uh, no. This is way before his birth. This okay, game's in well, the 18th, somebody... it's in the 1800s. Well, then you can make an evil with the wizard appear that was. I think that's why the goblins. I think that's through. why they got the goblins involved. Well, the goblins come and try to invade Hogwarts, and you can go around killing people. And the goblins have some slivering people on their Sometimes. side, have a morality choice on who you got to kill between the Gryffindor house and them. What? I could make a great game using all these killing curses and stuff. This is why Kyo has no morality pieces. What is making a ping noise? Did I find another? Am I missing another fucking yeah? Rebecca. Okay. Gryffindor! Gryffindor! Well, I'm in Slytherin now. No, that the damn curse you used to do, um, spell you do to find stuff or oh. send it to you in the PS1 game, Harry Potter game. Remember how bad the voice acting was? Like, Gryffindor! Oh, yeah. When you when you uh, cast your wand. How come the Weasleys have a family history working in the? Uh, They've always had a family history. They just for Hogwarts. Well, that's the thing. We never knew if they did or not, but it would be obvious that they did. And it it's po more believable that they did. So they lived in poverty on purpose? Is that that they lived in po Yeah, actually, believe it or not, you'd be surprised. Damn, they really must have wanted to take advantage of that healthcare system. Hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. I'm horrible. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. New spell. You don't get to customize your wand, do you? Yeah, in the next couple set uh, stages, I will. Levioso. I just can't remember if you can change your wand, like the engravings and stuff. Yeah, you can upgrade it or change its appearance. Now, let's try something a little larger. Yeah, I, I, I had an Xbox One, and then my Xbox One crashed. Should buy the game for PS5. Let us begin with a basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cost. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cost. 13 degrees. Oh wow, it warmed up. It was like 4 degrees earlier. And then last night I was at fucking Dave and Buster's and they had a Star Wars VR game that allows different opponents. I was like, yeah, I really want to do this. Very good, but like, the best oh, uh, is by And there was a lot of innocent kids we'll there, so. They learned. Duelist, take your marks. They learned the hard way. Now, I want a fair duel. When is Insomniac going to give me my new game plus? And Protego. You may begin. 
when Russia invades America? Probably. Ortega complicates things. Cast the killing curse on this kid. I don't have it. <laughs> Not a, he, he's the guy that I learned them from, so no. Why would I do that? <laughs> what do you learn them? Cast them on him and blow them away. <laughs> Wait, a kid teaches you the killing curses? Because he knows, because by this age, they teach it to you, They you learn them in lessons, like, not to be demonstrated, but you, you're verbally you explained what they are in a fourth, a, as a fourth year. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor. Damn, Harry should have learned this shit by then, but they outbanned all that shit. No, the teachers would teach you them, it's not encouraged, but if a teacher is dedicated to your protection, they'll teach you. They are capable of achieving it. And, and since there's a, the since one there's I, a, I moved, you just showing them what it does. You should have taught them all the But since there's a conflict, like there's a real big conflict in this game, the ministry has assigned it to where it can be used against all dark wizards, all dark poachers, and all dark creatures. So I'd advise you to keep practicing. Anyone except the final boss can't be affected because, of course, ancient magic is far different. Of course, that could probably deflect the curse because that exists before the curses were made. Him, he's the only one that's kind of immune to the curses. But any other, like, in-world bosses, not main bosses, but, like, special bosses, hidden bosses, things like that, they can be killed in one hit with the Vada Kedavra. You don't even have to... They could be above level. One blast, it's a wrap. It was certainly good practice. Doesn't that kind of like break the game? Like but this is the thing, do you want to break the game <laughs> or break the lore? <laughs> break the lore, I'm just saying, just in general. Well, Go around one shot. This is everything. Harry Potter fans you're talking about here. Morality be damned, if I could go in there and I go, Oh, that's it, you pissed me off about the cadaver. A ah, ah, student's been murdered! It wasn't me. No, they, they can they can trace where <laughs> the last spell came from. That's how they can detect who uses it. Now, the only way you could do that is if you use someone else's wand and it frames them. <laughs> I do that shit so bad. Take the kid that taught me to kill and curse, go about a cadaver, boom, 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 boom. Get it, take my wand back. This kid kills his uncle with it later. You're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club. So the four houses, which is the more messed up, the Slytherin? Well, each one of them have exclusive quests, so I don't know what the exclusive quest of the Slytherin house is. I'll keep that in mind. I only know there's only one that I have not done, which no two I haven't done, which is this one, this class is um exclusive mission and the Azgaban missions, which is for Hufflepuff, where you can go to Azgaban and fight Dementors. But I've done the Ravenclaw and the Gryffindor ones. Till next time. Azkaban. Yeah, you can do a mission at the prison. Cross ones. Oh, that's right. The dueling club. Wait, there's more missions to something else up here. Kyo, I swear, if you invest in crypto, I'm gonna kill you. Hmm. If you invest in crypto, I will shoot you. Why? Why do I have to? Do you want to end up like Boogie? Mm -mm. Oh, I'll link PayPal account to crypto. Weezy. Oh, I think I have to go to another class. Hold on, before I do the dueling club. Only what? Wait, the FFA hires mentally disabled people. Wokeness will cost plane crashes. Airlines brag about diversity. Ah! And not only that, my character is meant to be a mixture between Snape and Harry Potter himself. The child that Snape never had. <laughs> oh, I was wondering why he looked Asian. <laughs> Actually, he's not Asian. I don't know why you say he looks Asian. He doesn't have chink eyes. <laughs> retard break. I need a retard break. Give me a retard break for like five seconds. I don't even know. Wait, what's she, what's pinging out here? Here, ping. Oh, it's that. I don't have the spell to open that yet. Oh, the transfiguration class is this way. 
But it's funny you can cast a Vada Kedavra on a kitty. Wait, you can kill all the cats? I don't think I should have told you that. Now you're probably going to do a cat run. <laughs> Wait, you can cast the Vada Kedavra on all the cats in there. And birds. Not in the school itself. Ah! What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Dobby, oh, what are you doing I there? Fucking, there, there's a house elves are a race. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you are. I know that. I'm just saying. I trust house the elves. First classes went well. Dobby, they the greatest house elf Professor. ever. I heard as much from Professors Hecat and Roman. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've Yo, I can't me. believe DSP's actually winning right now. Hmm? He's winning. What'd he do? Have you and Professor Fig like, not this recent thing, trouble? like, what people are saying about his about wife, details. are now making it, giving him power Rebellion, over the people that go after him, That's since I see. she's an innocent I bystander to the drama. Stream. And now he's using it and framing it as people have always been attacking his his life innocently. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian now this is where I get my or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Let me befriend the Slytherin boy. I want all this dark power sooner than expected. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And then there's a choice. But there is a choice at the end of the game where it lets you do either restore the ancient magic or absorb it into yourself. And I don't know what that effect is. That's supposed to be the dark ending. To avoid him Why the hell didn't you pick the dark ending? Because it, it's ambiguous of what happens. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, Just take the power for yourself. The power is mine. I was playing as a Gryffindor, so it wouldn't have made sense. Oh, you role-playing character. Oh, man. Why do you think I'm playing a fucking Slytherin right now? I don't want to think of how evil I could be if I was a Slytherin. If I bought this game and played this, it, 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 I would traumatize people. Oh, you dickbag. First assignment, wait. Okay, I have to learn Reparo first, and then head that way. Ah, there you are. Yes, hello, Mr. Indian teacher. I mean, Professor Ronan. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. A British right Indian. Up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Those exist? It seems as if that would come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As I mean, Professor redneck Weasley Asians I am exist, not Keel. the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of True. class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. The only one that looks like he's dying in his family photos. To do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. So if I remember correctly. The task that he needs done is collect the flying paper near there. Okay, wait. I think it's... Wait, the broken statue? Oh, it's over here. What am I doing? 
You must find the, the broken the statue. I wonder where the Go to the east and go the warm world. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Got it. That's actually another way to exploit the leveling up in this game. Just go around getting pages, which are every fucking where. I did that. That and did you get the? Did you do the Dark Wizard Arena? Like the Gauntlet modes? You clearly know your way around. I did a lot of that stuff back then. Remember when I had my Xbox One F or or Xbox One? I did a lot of the side stuff. I want to and my is, uh... Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Reparo, let's go. So now Very I can good. go to Hogsmeade. If you would like to practice making something, have a go with You can go to Hogsmeade and get drunk on butter beer. And be served in by a trans wizard. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and He's out. not really a technically a trans wizard. It's just a deep voice. I mean with magic, you probably could change your anatomy very quickly. <laughs> I know I'm a dick. Well, there's that transformation potion. What if it goes wrong? This is why Kyo has no soul. Ancient magic. Okay, good. Wait, which one do I go? Rebellion. Is there a pinging paper near somewhere? This is why Kyo's not making much content this year other than like three games. Oh no, you're gonna be put to work. No, I made an announcement on my video. Ah. Okay, the door's what's ping. Nope, I knew it. I knew there was a fucking paper right there. There we go. I was like, wait a minute, I've been hearing that. I was hearing that ping in my fucking ear. Okay. Ping, 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 ping. I know there's another ping in here somewhere. Is it the horse? Nope. So, yep, right down here. Oh, another more domestic violence between ghosts. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I think there's a chest up here. Yep. Ah, that's a big rat! You invested in the Ethereum? No, fancy Star New Genesis. There we go. I'm going with my Tom Riddle look. Oh shit, there was a paper right here. Damn, it looks like a dragon bong. That urn? Really? It's an urn? It looks like a fucking bong. It's the urn of sacred ashes. It looks like a bong. Could smoke those ashes, probably. Wait, I hear another ping. I know, 
there was another paper here. Yep. Well, fancy meeting you. Rebellion. Yep, there was another paper. Oh, Dragon Age, that's what that was called. Dragon Age? Yeah, Earn of Secret Ashes Quest. I remember now. I was like, why? I was thinking that was Harry Potter. No, it wasn't. I was like, no, there was no Earn. Oh, fuck. Level four. Damn it. Okay. At least I got something. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming <sighs> little place. Self-contained, too. And of course, the moment the herbology professor gets introduced... Shall we? The young looking one in this game. Of course, every. Let's just say. Adult site really used her character model. Very similar to Overwatch. Wait, you went and looked up that shit? You do realize it's been put in my Discord and I deleted it, but I know of its existence. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you. Today. <laughs> As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. What? Western civilization's full degeneracy. Speaking of Weasley, oh, we know. she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. Between that and That's Japan, I don't know which one's more degenerate. Trust me with anything, given my detention record. Oh wait, that's right. You should we should talk about Rebel Moon while you're here. Keep me well rounded. Did you not see Snyder gets his Snyder cut because he's special? Are you trying to derail my stream? <laughs> I never would do that. I'm about no. to pull, I'm about to say for once in my life I'm about to pull a. F a fill. We don't need that fucking shit. We're gonna chill here, very calm, and positive stream, and fuck you. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad for my girlfriend because now I'm like, she's like, you're staring at your phone. Did Philbert do something stupid? And I was like, no, what? I'm not even looking at him. She's like, at this point, I'm trying to be, I'm trying, I don't know what you'd be watching. This is an excellent spot to gather lace from. I'm like, no, this is not filled. This is Boogie 2988. Boogie did another thing stupid. Look, what's going yep. on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Oh shit, I walked too far. Certainly don't see that every day. Does he. Uh, can that guy ever stay out of the spotlight of stupidity now? Apparently not. Let me keep those like swing flies. Prance hoop and sugarfoot. To the left is the forbidden forest. Oh wait, I never seen a three hour documentary on the Phantom Masters, did I? Hence the name. On how they kinda got points. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah! You can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. No. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? Just what? That documentary? No. It is that. No. I've been there five years. That thing that makes them look good ever makes them look good. <laughs> no, you don't want to see a three hour documentary on them? 
I don't want three hours of brain rot. You still haven't told me. No amount of weed will protect me from this stupidity. Well, then why do you consume all the other stupidity? Ah! <laughs> Objection! I'm gonna object a foot in your ass with a rocket boot. Hell's flash. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage. Oh God! Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately, but you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notable. Oh, that cause you to have an epiphany. Hopefully, the rest <laughs> of your year isn't as <laughs> At least the other shit. They do okay. Here's the thing. What they do is intentional. So why cover Mr. something Moon. that I know that they're He's doing? He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Uh huh. Because you're a masochist. Hello, Mr. Moon. Yes, yeah, but there's a difference you. between watching Pleasure. someone that doesn't know that they're doing it and are just con. How do you say, how do you say what Rich said Run. about DSP? Is everything all right? These guys. Like Boogie and all that are trying to basically tell you there is no brick wall while hitting their face into the fucking brick wall. And you keep telling them you're hurting yourself. You're like, no, you're the one that's hurting me. Look. Versus, versus heels versus baby face. Anna, Rogue, D and D, all these fucking people. Never seen Mr. Moon, so Look, Anna, I don't like. I could probably tolerate the other ones, but I just can't t tolerate Mr. Anna. I can't tolerate the other ones too. Anna's the one is, they that, like, to they me, is the up... most evilest of all of them. Yeah, because they prop up that piece of plastic more than a Barbie doll. No, you, you prop I already it know. Off of I already, that. Yeah, I already know that. So, but, when you, but if you cover that, that's is, like, no, she's scum. like if people cover that, oh, oh, everything you say, even though you're right about them, gets thrown out the window. That's not a fucking shield. I don't give a damn. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic, Rebellion. I don't know if it shocks nope. all the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Where's the wand shop, damn it? Oh, it's over there. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spellcraft, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, All right. have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Alright, let me use the bathroom real quick, damn it.
Okay. Oh, shit. What did you and Selma do when I wasn't here? Nothing. Right now, I, I didn't say anything. Currently, I'm focusing on a boss fight. Oh, no, I'm talking about when I wasn't here for the past few days. I haven't said anything. I was focusing on a boss fight. Oh. I'll be right and back. I just won. Ah, it's you. Good Barely. Moment. Just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's Good point to need to learn yes, About time. Well, you're our new 50th student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Give that one a try and watch me blow up your well, fucking store. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this is oh, the wand master has given you uh, a wand. Uh, um, I'm working on it. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I can't oh, store. Can't store. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. What, you broke the story yeah. mode? No. This is proving In the store, it's just like the three, that three wands test. How perplexing. Um... Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Not slivering, you say? Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, they don't have one for a... Uh... Hmm. How intriguing. There it is. Black. Curious indeed. Found it. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful, and what do you think? There we go, got my own piece. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. 
So yeah, Kyo, this is my next How chosen story mode game Good. since it's also Did another light game. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Light game? The Isn't that a long ass game if you're trying to be a completionist? The right one no. will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. What I mean light as with a dragon not intense core, that requires me long of durations of time. Magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only It's not like I'm fucking stronger. playing Do not be surprised at Ragnarok your or something. Ability to perceive like your campaign wise. Particularly in a moment of need. Oh, what makes that game long is all the damn side quests is like freaking Spider-Man. Do come and see mm -hmm. me again. This one, one, I have a big you can do I can do side missions at the cuz doing certain side missions are required to progress the oh there's mission. certain side missions but like i said there's a lot of them yeah. that's what pads the game out if you skip them and only do the required ones it's not as long as what i'm trying to say yeah yeah it's just for, for example it's like spider-man if you skip over all the side missions you can just blitz through the main campaign yeah but then you'll get your ass beat which you found out yeah it's funny I still fucking did it though. An inquiring <sighs> mind. I did what Phil couldn't do. Blitz and burn through something. Venom is pretty well designed for being an annoying boss. It's not that he's annoying. He's doing things that are appropriate to his character. It's just I didn't realize how fucking underleveled I really was. The, I meant the AI is oh, the AI. designed very well. The boss AI. You can't, oh, yeah. you can't just run up there and Leroy Jenkins' his ass. Nah. Because with every other boss, you kind of could do that to a point. Craven is but the... Venom, Craven and Venom fight back. Me. The, him and the Peter Parker fight are both designed really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. The Peter Parker... Well, the thing about the Peter Parker fight is it's not that bad because this time you're in control of the bell and you can just throw... As long as you keep him busy, stun him for a second, just get, you just have to trap him very effectively. No, it's because he uses all your moves against you. That's why. I meant. Yeah, no, the ones you unlocked, yeah. But if you've played with those so moves it's like, a lot, I don't want to fight myself! Because that's all the power you put into it. I know, so that's what I meant by design. Interesting. It's like, I don't want to sit here and fight myself. I put time into making Peter strong. And he's using all my moves against me. Especially when you just indulged in using the symbiote. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a And it's make it worse if you haven't played as Miles forever. <laughs> he just will curse. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're and I and I always keep clothes that are at the rest of my infantry. under like shit that I can sell. I don't fucking destroy it. That's how I keep get the fucking. Dude, I had so many clothes I sold.
Okay. Go to the potion shop. Rebellion. Of course, I'm looking for flying papers. They're everywhere. Rebellion. Is the new reversal? Oh, is there a where is it? A hair ping. Oh no, these are stuff behind locked doors. I don't have the unlocks, but I Okay, back up that way. Welcome to Jay Pippen's Pushings. Oh, it's a countdown to how long I think available till. Oh. Uh... Do I use my dark wizard coat now or when I get the dark spells? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she's in. I have a feeling I'm about to get obliterated. I things aside immediately. I suspect that if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll okay, there's another this player. Enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention okay, that it's not just potions. Four of us on standby now. I also offer ready made drafts for all manner of uses and. I unveil new ones from time to time. Uh, mind, so here. Don't, uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you? Today? Oh yeah. My girlfriend shared me a video series, like a channel that you and I can react to, and it doesn't break to you. I like not to us, but it doesn't get us community the rest stuff. Of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. And I was like, some of these will mentally hurt Kyo and me. But goddamn. Uh, what did I just need? Oh, there it is. I was hung up running on the bridge for a second. What the fuck? Rebellion. Wait. Oh, Whoa! Just... Shit! 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 Oh, shit. Hello there. You're getting your ass beaten. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. 
I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. She found can't a game in the thick of things that she's actually good at. Now. I can't believe she's got me playing Fall Guys again. In addition to seeds, I have Why are you plants. playing Fall Guys? Throw everything myself. Whoa! Because she said that if, if she wants, to, if she does any cosmetic but purchases, she'll just send. She'll just put stuff on my account for me to get it instead of me having Tim. to pay for them. Oh, did I say something? Is it coming out of my wallet? Oh, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I'm not gonna have this argument live on 4K because then it'll be bad. Yeah, you don't want this live. You don't want this smoke. Oh shit, it's a level beastie monster. I mean. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not Jacob who hasn't had that one. Uh, let's see. I'm not a certain somebody in pursuit of own DNA. Eh. Sorry, I'm not gonna say no names here, but um, a certain sign struggles with finding one. So when I actually earn one through some good dedication, uh. You figured I've earned my P, if you know what I mean. Rebellion. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, this is where I fight the troll fight coming up. I know that since this is a WB game, Harry Potter trolls and Lord of the Rings trolls. Look very identical. Oh wait, that page got away. Oh no, that, that was an owl. No wait, it was a page. Don't come after you in the comment section. Who? Oh. The Harry Potter trolls when this game this video gets done between live. Me no give a flying fuck. Sing it with me now. I don't give a flying fuck. You're the one that mentioned it. But guess what? They bring it. Just give me the traction. Throw me in the eye. Exploit the system. Like I exploited that ticket machine last night, did the blisters. They got myself a red eyes black dragon. Did anybody hear all that? I heard some of it, but yeah, I exploit my system. Yeah, I don't have an exploit uh, to use. Because I don't have a lot of content to make. I've met my quota. There's a couple of games. They're not coming out anytime soon. Rebellion. That I really am going to put on my channel. And one of them is a Star Wars game. It's another, it's a full fledged open world Star Wars game. Like, open galaxy, so I want to see how that plays. No wolf culture? From my understanding, no. So now I have two, like, Jedi Survivor will actually still be my favorite Star Wars quasi-open world. Because it's basically God of War Ragnarok with lightsabers. There it is. Uh, oh. There we go, level 
also. More papers, more. Yes. Rebellion. Uh, I gotta go which way? There it is, another fucking. Saw it. There we go. Got it. All right, now to the town, times town square. Oh wait, don't I got some items that I gotta equip? There we go. Let's check. Okay, it's a stronger robe. All right, I'll wear it. There we go. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. So how long until the Insomniac yeah, puts the new game stuff. plus in there? I did. Probably so I within this the next month coming out. out. Let's see what else we can get on. Does their Twitter account say anything? Yeah. Oh shit, the Dark Lord Sauron, I mean the Dark Goblin, sent his trolls. Shit! This thing can hit. And I, by my understanding, the same, uh, the studio is supposed to be making a follow up to Shadow of War, but with a different character. And it's not the elf woman, by my understanding. They said her story is done. So I was like, okay. So, who's the elf? Yeah, what happened to Kyle Grimmel when he got re released to the world? That's all I'm saying. Unless this is another character that's after him. There's only one character who I think that we could play as to go on that adventure. Because without the ring, he has powers like this, and that would be um the fucking damn it. What's the name of that elf? It's not Legolas. He's the one that we don't see in the movies. Glorfindel. Yes. Glorfindel would be the only person left that we could play that that has that power. Because he was resurrected and he's basically a, a fucking. Not a Maiar. He's a Vala. So. Which one are they? The Maiar. No, he's basically a Maiar in human form. Are you all right? Or not human form, but we elven help. form. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. All because he took down the Lord of the Balrogs. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Off screen. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer, Officer Singer, and, and he's truly Im again. he's immortal because every time he dies, he's allowed to just come back. I think he's died a few times. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. You think that caused some issues okay. after a while with the, with the dead world? How many times we gotta revive you? Yeah, but the gods are the ones that permit it, so they just well, don't. They don't let. Here's they got their dicks. Yeah, but they don't let no one stay dead until their task is done. Cause look at Gandalf. Gandalf was able to return, and he was able to return with all his original Maiar power and at least some memory. Cause in his mortal form, so to speak, he's not supposed to have his memories. Of being a Meyer, he's just know that he was tasked to do something. Prepare. Where Sauron has all his knowledge of being a Meyer, so he can use all his Meyer power.
meet Sebastian. I thought I almost burned my finger for a second. Okay, let's go. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Predigo! Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve. So, why aren't you by Baldur's Gate 3? I'm missing one key component that I keep getting ticked off that bills keep taking me from. I need a hard drive. You know how big that game is? Yeah, I don't have it. I bought it because it's, I wanted to support good games. Yeah, I saw. I know. I saw the gigabyte. That's the problem. One such set of rooms. I want to get it. Thanks for what you did today. But. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very. And it's just for a single player game. I can do. Now let's try I have to sacrifice certain games just to do reruns of Jedi Survivor. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Really, I have to change that fucking outfit because it's already weak. I'd say we've earned a butter beer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. They gave at least there's an eye color in this game that looks like Sith eyes. Items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Right, Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Shit! Damn monster keeps killing me. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is... That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Run, Rock. Oh, Jesus, that thing's floating around. Run! The goblin for a daily profit. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh... There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Oh shit. I didn't right. realize I was gone for three days. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are... 
What, in the lore time? No. Out. Real life. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Everybody I bust said, their wands out on his ass. Is busy. One would think you all had enough blood I like that you get to cast a Vada Kedavra on him later. Come, the ominous. What? This bot this guy who's gonna be a boss be. later in the game. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Oh. Can't drink butter beer forever. See. Ranrock's duel is too elaborate for a goblin where fighting this guy actually Seems feels like a duel between enemy. two wizards. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Wait, are you saying goblins Trolls, are stupid? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I mean, I they're slow. I tell you everything. But it's perhaps <laughs> better to do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Oh, the castle. <laughs> I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Hmm. All right, let's go. Return to the common room. I forgot I can fast travel already. I didn't know the Slytherin yeah, common room was underwater. City. This common room is underwater. Oh, shit. Oh. Open field. Oh, I can do that. See me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. You can get all. You go to the air. into the floor. Rebellion. Holy shit, that's a lot of people at the personal shop.
Rebellion. Celtic attire, what? Wand upgrade. Let me, or no, new wand type. There we go. I got a black handle to my wand. My shit looks more like a Slytherin based wand now. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade. With Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Drumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Hmm. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Hmm. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before Professor we continue. Hecate. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. 
Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let oh, Professor shit. Hackett know okay, to expect you. Okay, I have to get you. more defensive powers now. Okay. Oh no! More quest logs than I hit the fucking wall. Secrets of the ah. Okay. I see what I gotta do. Rebellion. Oh come on. Something occurred. Oh shit, wrong way. I don't want to do this shit, I just did it. Oh, the top of the stairs. Hear about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do and us harm. Sounds versatile. More. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Oh. You may be surprised by some of them. Shit. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. When two crowns complete. Oh, that's it. Okay. I have Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. The competition. Peeves, get out the way. Oh, not again. Here I Shit come head. from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you fancy a mole? As long as we're only a time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the leak. He tried to stop me, did Ranker and Cobb. Thought the trophy could find me inside of a jar. But he failed at it. Level 8. I'm trying to guess. Rebellion. Much levels to get to that dark spells as possible. Damn it. Glad you could make it. There Lucan's we go. Just over there. You. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels, crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. 
Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. I already know how to do the Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hmm. Hope Rebellion. to see you back here again. To do two more rounds of this little boy's challenges. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch How many the hours a day are you going to put into the streaming? Ready to have a try now? As long that as I can wonderful. go. Be sure to cast all of your spells before uh, the dummy What? If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, I'm trying to get my body adapted to streaming longer. Oh, did I hear that right? Did you just say as long as you can go? Yep. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Okay, now it's time for the next round of the cross ones dueling. Okay. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of cross ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. It would be three little shits. It's always in three. Duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished.
Give me a second. What the hell? Let's try to stay hidden for 10 seconds. Let's see here. What do we got here? I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and... I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you <laughs> should be ready <laughs> to learn Incendio. Should well, be. I gotta get going. Talk to you yes. later. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say, I visited... Good luck with your string. ...colleagues at St. Mungo's oh, yeah. to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady.
Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your schedule is... will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later.
All right, my bad. I had to answer my phone. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rattle us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. I turn my fan Understood? on because it's I hot. Be sure guys. Let's go. Hold on now. My room's got, for There's some reason, spell you should know. the air is weird in my room. Disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. gone by now i said usually but it'll still be all right do you see her desk behind me the key is in the drawer of that desk now here's what we're going to do i'll create a distraction to draw her away you focus on getting the key i'll meet you outside of the restricted section you distract i get the key understood i said i'd get you in and i always keep my word trust me the key. Here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, please? Revelio. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Should be in the clear now. No need for us to be skulking about.
So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows Merlin. everyone else is given her. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's find out what you're on. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Rebellion. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this one.
Where might this lead? Surprising. Guards at the ready. the bridges in that game. That's the one thing I dislike about this, this game. This must be the way forward. But is to where? The two fucking quick reaction time in these bridges. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Rebellion. Cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's. Ah, oh, Fig. 
a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. Though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade again. Let's see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Cross Wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. You had one victory over Stalin. He never backs down from the fight. An additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom.
Incendio. Rebellion. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Victory! 
Hey, you won the tournament! I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned a tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Rebellious. Rebellion. Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. I thought Ramrocks and Oilers would go this far. Rebellion! Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Ah, 
Why, yes, a wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. It is good to see you, my... Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard.
beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. in such a manner. I'm so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies, they seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. 
What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! The flames make the fire sick. Today, I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and Revelio. Rebellion. My fault you're a deadly great I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far.
Revelio. Let me know, <laughs> I wonder if you might be able to help. Might some kind soul help me? I hope you were able to take care of everything I... Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. predicament. Rebellion. There's something in there. Incendio. She's wearing Pungus Onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. 
We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake Root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Littlely's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Wealth potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Wealth potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. The Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright... Here we are. Home of the Chinese... Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their... Uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but 
Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I hope those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Someone from the ministry guarding the school. Professor Bloss was never allowed. Revelio. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous.
I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from J. Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a god. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwoopa Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Your potion should not be there. Rebellion! Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Dragon oh! <laughs> What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. 
I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Classes to... Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Aura. I wish... Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Garrus' inspiration. Term. Hello there. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganwell potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganwell potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't no. know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blank. I'll be weak from simple. Rebellion. 